for parts of the Keys as well as South Florida and also some gusty winds, winds that move over that 40 mile per hour mark, especially as we talk about what's in store for the Keys. Here is the very latest on Tropical Storm Elsa as of the 11 p.m. advisory. The center of circulation is now over the Florida Straits and the storm has gotten a little stronger. Notice maximum sustained winds are now up to 60 miles per hour. Uh, the last time we checked in on Elsa when it was over land it had weakened, come down to 50 miles per hour. So you definitely have to keep an eye on this as it gets closer to the lower keys. Center just 80 miles south-southwest of Key West moving toward the north-northwest at 12 miles per hour. It's on a forecast track. It's going to allow for a pass near the lower key just to the west, and then it continues up over the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico, and then after that, it's going to make the move as we go from late Tuesday to Wednesday near or over that west coast of uh, Florida on the west side of the peninsula near the big bend that hooks off for the northeast. But let me talk about what we are expecting tonight for parts of the key. Tropical storm warning still in effect for the lower and middle keys as well. This is where we do anticipate those winds that gust uh, maybe at times 50 plus miles per hour. For now, we're simply tracking some dusty downpours running in over parts of the keys as well as a band we'll get to in a second in Miami Bay. But right now, winds in Key West and Marathon are dusting near 20 miles per hour. So the worst of the weather is still yet to come. This is the band I just mentioned right here pushing into the upper keys as that's coming into Miami Bay. It's going to bear watching. Could contain some gusty winds and we won't rule out a brief spin up with some of the storms embedded uh, in, in any band that happens to move through or even an isolated downpour that runs in off the water. But the stronger winds will be near this circulation center that's now making its way out over the Florida Strait. And this is poised to move in over parts of the Keys based on what the forecast models are showing. That's where the worst of the weather is going to be as that center closes in on the lower Keys. So look for tropical storm winds to arrive overnight lower Keys around the dry Tortugas up toward Key West. It's going to get pretty nasty out. We're talking 40 plus mile per hour winds with the heavy rain bands. And we can even have some 50 plus mile per hour winds at times as we're getting into Tuesday morning. Round with heavy rain moving on through. It's going to be a really sloppy morning based on what the forecast models are showing. By Tuesday evening, winds not as strong, although there still could be some scattered downpours. Weather improves overnight tomorrow. And take note of the heavy rainfall this model is showing over portions of our Collier County extending on up through, through the west coast of South Florida. There's a flood watch in effect there. On our side, talking Miami Dade and Broward, not expecting conditions quite like that, but we certainly could have some dusty downpours at times along with localized flooding. Upper Keys will watch for some dusty downpours too, as well as winds that at times gust up to 40 miles per hour. So through the overnight into tomorrow morning, uh, it will start to get uh, worse in terms of the weather that we see down around the lower and middle peaks.